Everyone in Radioland knows that the most fun a disc jockey can have is sitting in on the Howard Stern Show. It's every DJ's dream to come in and chat with superstar Howard Stern. That's why Meg Griffin is the envy of every air personality. Meg is here, Robin. Oh, well, look at that. Lucky Meg gets to exchange opinions with Howard every day. There's just some stuff that's right and there's some stuff that's wrong, and we all have our own opinions on it, and that whole deal is way wrong. You can always rely on cordial chit-chat when Meg pinpoints society's ills. Uh, you've never been upset about nothing, Robin, but huh? But you get upset because you see Sam's friends who you don't like their lifestyle? You mean you get upset? I... I I get upset with the carrying on as if it's something that should be credited and laughed at and lottie dod when people are dying as a result of some of this behavior. Yeah. You think... Okay, what is you want to so get serious? Yeah, yes, serious. I do. Meg is always in philosophical step with the program as she runs in each day to offer homespun wisdom. Because I think sometimes you, think... you do anything on these airwaves to get ratings. And <laughs> that upsets me too. Well, <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with crack either, right? People like it, so let's push it. Nothing you know? wrong with yeah, crack? Yeah, you see us doing that all the time? Do I do crack? Just because something's popular, it doesn't mean that it's good. Whoa. Solid and flawless logic. That's why the Howard Stern Show is always quick to embrace a fellow DJ. So Kinnison's an evil man? I don't like what he stands for. What does he all. stand what does he for? What does he stand for? Nothing. That's not true. Why would you say he's an evil man? Abusing women. Abusing women? Being up for days on end out of his mind near a heart attack. You, okay? You're against his lifestyle, but you're for... Like when the Beatles and the Stones do it. Right. I mean, when they're having okay. five and six women in a room. I don't see them doing that now. And I, don't don't, know. I certainly now. don't put them on the air and make jokes about it and now. encourage it. It's fun to hear friends having stable conversation. When I walk in and Why see that garbage in the if hallways, I'm going to get upset about it because I think it stinks. And I think it's funny. Well, I know you do. That's Everybody knows you do. Us. It's Dante's Inferno in here. Even tempered comments are in the air. I am slowly taking over. Oh, I know you are. I People control, like you are taking over the world. That's I am the taking damn over the world, and I control the station now. That's right. You probably do. Respect for others' craft is the key to good working relationships. I simply don't enjoy walking in on it as often as I do here. Oh, yeah. please. It stinks when you walk into this room well, after you're probably, some of those shows. You'll it probably... Stinks. Yeesh. Come the frig down, Meg. Have some fun, fun, fun. Yeah, they know what they're doing. They look like they're about 16 and they don't have any clothes on and they're dripping all over these pimp types. So lucky Meg gets to pick up the ball after Howard drops it. Yes, there's real philosophy going on here. Well, I am a mental case, I'll admit that. No, no, no. When she's not busy falling off her horse, Meg's having fun exchanges with America's hero on The Howard Stern Show. Please. It stinks, 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 Please. it stinks. Please. stinks. Please. There are three nevers in comedy. You never follow a better comedian. You never give a heckler the last word. 